Nothing says 80s and food like Hungry Like the Wolf. People have forgotten how to have fun when they go eat. Coming to Hungry Like the Wolf is like traveling back in time. When they walk in the door, you hear the Ferris wheels day off. Chicka chicka. Chicka chicka. Just gives you that like, all right, I'm in the 80s. You know you're not gonna have a bad time. You see people's face light up and it's fantastic. I love everything about the 80s, the colors, the music, the fashion, movies, entertainment, period. Nostalgic. I was at 59 Diner with my daughters and most of my family, and 59 Diner was closing, and one of my daughters said, hey, you know, Dad, you gotta open a, you gotta open a 50s diner. My other daughter said, the 50s were too long ago. You should open an 80s diner. And so, here we are. My daughters were hit it on the head. Uh, the 80s were like the new 50s. It was a fun time. It's a, a fun era to revisit. I think the 80s was the first generation to define pop culture the way that we knew it and, and the influences that the 80s had continue on today. Like I said, even our kids have influences from the 80s. The chicken fried steak was nice and tender, not dry. The gravy was good. The mashed potatoes were excellent. I've tried the fried pickles. I've tried the avocado toast. The quality of the food's amazing. The servers are amazing. The cocktails are even better. We have a really good diner menu. Everything is, is American fare. Um, people gravitate toward the chicken fried chicken, the meatloaf. This is my second time in two days to come to Hungry Like the Wolf. I had the Reuben here yesterday, and I couldn't like not come back and have it again. I absolutely love it. I love all the artwork, um, the mural behind me, all the uh, neon, the Pac-Man games are right over here. Oh my gosh, the baby in the corner is my all-time favorite of this whole diner. There's tons of local art, the murals, the decor, the flooring. Everything is just so detailed that it just, um, it makes it feel like another world. I honestly think that's part of our success. As it, I think somewhere in this world we've lost the thought process of going out to have a good time to go eat. You know, I mean, you can have a great meal in any places, but having a lot of a good fun, and that, that's what we're doing too. We're giving you great food, but a great environment as well. And it's a place where you can just come and be yourself and kind of just let go for a little while. And you just get to forget about the current times and the current, you know, year for a while. You travel back in time. I love the 80s. I'm all about that decade, and I'm glad that we have a place to embrace it here in Houston. This is an escape from after the hard year, but it's also kind of a, a rebirth as well. Um, going forward, you know, we hope to have a couple of these across the city, maybe even expand outside of Houston. But uh, for sure, people are ready for something like this. They're ready to come and, and live a little nostalgia and remember back when things were not as complicated as they are today. I think this is cool to see if, like, if you're playing a banjo. You can't play a sad song in a banjo. You can't come in here and go, ah, I'm just so depressed. You know, you're coming here to have fun. If you can't have fun here, you can't have fun anywhere.